What's good, everybody? Mr. J here, and today's vlog day. Look at that Durango. Mm hmm. You need that hood. Mm hmm. It's the same hood I want. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse the interruption. I'm Mr. J, and today is vlog day. As you can see, I got the troops all loaded up today, and uh, we are continuing that search for the house. I think at this point we've, what, we've seen four houses, five houses? Yeah, this is about right. We've bid on three. Search continues. Be looking at two today. Take you guys along and let you guys know the aches and pains of buying a house. Getting the house loan was the first thing, but after that, it's just trying to trying to win the bidding war. It's a whole different animal. Everybody's buying houses. Every single house we've gone to, we've at least had four other competing offers. So very competitive industry and if you're going through the same things right now I feel your pain <sighs> all right so we have arrived at the first house of the day but you know waiting for the real estate agent here so i'm gonna give you guys a quick walk around on gotham hemi and uh just for a warning she is pretty dirty right now today's supposed to be wash day but you know we're running errands that are more important so let's take a look Could this be your room? It's gonna be blue. Blue? You want it to be blue? Oh man, I like this master bedroom. This bathroom is nice. Look at the big jump. I can fit in this. Yeah. This will do. All of my goods would be covered. Look, that's the other one. I'm like a bitch. All right, so that one was a beautiful house. Completely renovated on the inside. Interior was very nice. What'd you think, babe? I think it's beautiful. Okay, so first impressions are everything right first impressions are everything we're at a local uh superstore for you know a, a uh, house. water break <laughs> my son needs that house he needs that house so i'm waiting for my wife she's inside this crazy ass lady she's parked right back there she sees me open the trunk and uh, top off the tire i'm in the middle of topping off the tire she opens her door and she's like have you ever heard of nail spreaders uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. She's like, yeah, it's a steering wheel activated button that you push and it'll spread out nails and throws nails out behind your car. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. She's like, yeah, word of advice for you. I was like, what? <laughs> all right, ma'am. Yeah, we all need a house, dude. We got directions. But yeah, just old lady, like missing teeth and everything, like, Look like a witch. <laughs> Just, yeah, word of advice for you. <laughs> Nail throwers. It's like, do you want me to put one on my car or are you thinking that that's what happened to my car while I'm filling up air in my freaking tire? That's funny. It's like, fucking weirdos. 
Well, the search continues. We are on to house number two. We did really like that house. We just kind of felt leery about the location, yard with the awkward shape, and the area is just kind of, we'd be making a sacrifice to, to, on the area if we chose that house. So we are gonna bid on it um, just because, you know, our success rate has been so low that we're really kind of have to look and bid on anything that we that we really like with reasonable sacrifice so we're heading a little ways out to take a look at this second house get back at you when we get there so we arrived at the second house we're about to head in and take a look see what's up this one's on Williams Boulevard, which that is my last name. So see if that's an omen or not. Let's get it. Look at that, Team Mopar. Trailhawk. Gas meter, which is swing, buddy. What do you think, D? I think D needs a butt change. What do you think? What do you think, D? Hmm? You like this? No. No. All right, so the house being on my street, Williams Boulevard, didn't mean nothing as a solid no. Tiny house. The house wasn't tiny, but it's made small, so everything was just small. The rooms were small because they're crammed together the bathrooms were tiny because they were back to back it's just the design of the house made the house really small that and then you know it's a very much a country area country like area which always makes me a little more uncomfortable i'm more of a city boy my wife likes the country I don't like country. Don't like country vibes at all, one bit. So that was a solid no. So the search continues, but we are going to bid on that first house. So we'll get back with you, let you know if that went through or if the search continues. But we are back at it. As you can see, we're in the Rango today because we got the full tribe. About to look at another house. Last time we looked at two, we ended up bidding on one and it sounded like we had a good offer going in and things were looking up. There was only one other offer, one other competing offer. But at the last minute, more like the last hour, someone swooped in and put in an offer and waived inspection. So the problem we keep on running into when we're bidding is that other buyers are consistently waiving inspection. Um, and when they waive inspection, it just becomes immediately more attractive to you know the seller um, because with those inspections come inspection fees and then the potential risk that, you know, if they find anything wrong with the home, then that's going to be reduced selling value. Um, and, you know, we're just not at the point where we really are comfortable with waiving inspection, but it's almost looking like now that we're in a position where we have to start thinking about waiving inspection just to get a competitive offer on the table. So the search continues. We are looking at another house today. Right over there. That's the new property we're looking at today. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Took a look at the house and we really like the house. Uh, well, not, not really like the house. We really love the location. It's about three blocks away from where we currently live. And uh, we're going to bid on, we definitely want to bid on this one as well. Uh, lots of yard space, you know, nothing really just wrong with the house for us to say no. 
kitchen's kind of small, so we would definitely want to expand the kitchen right away. But uh, yeah, get at you again, let you know how this one went. Back to the bidding game. The bidding part is the worst part of buying a house. Every time we bid on a house, I can't sleep that the night of close. Um, you know, we don't always put in a bid and then hear the results the next day. Um, a lot of these houses will have closing dates. So, you know, we'll have our bid in for a couple of days and then the following day we'll know when the bids are going to be accepted. That's the night of no sleep every single night. And unfortunately, uh, the last one, they drug it out on us because they were allowing time for that final offer to come in. So I had two nights in a row of zero sleep. That was fun. Oh. All right, so it's a, another brand new day. We're back at it again. Last house we looked at didn't happen once again um, and basically we uh, got outbid in a nutshell we, we had a competitive offer but um, the seller didn't want to handle closing costs and the next offer that came through said that they would handle closing costs so back to the drawing board we are on the way to look at another house once more and uh you know at this point this is just uh yeah it, it, it's beyond uh frustrating <laughs> at this point it's just like it's basically just a chore <laughs> you know we're just we're just uh you know the, the thrill is gone the excitement is gone we're just trying to find a house now just trying to get our hands on something <laughs> anything so we're heading out to the next one take a look um you know, this whole experience has even got us considering, you know, a move down to Texas where the housing market is a lot better than it is here in Washington. But, uh, yeah, we'll wait and we'll see how it goes. Take a look at this house, man. All right, we made it back home. That house was a no-go. Um, yeah, there was no way we were going to put in an offer on that one. Um, you know, it was just, uh, it just wasn't right fit. Uh, you know, personally, I'm a city boy at heart, but my wife is not. And, you know, we also feel like we can do better than the area for our kids, uh, for our kids sake, basically. Uh, so search continues, but for right now, for right now, check this out. About to light up the grill, prime rib burgers prime rib burgers oh let me know in the comment section what you know about grilling what you know about grilling all right try tip marinade we've got two parts soy sauce one part olive oil garlic pepper throw it all together marinate it in a bag for a few hours mm. Like I said, let me know what you know about grilling down in the comments section. No aggression, just saying. Whatever you like to do on the grill, I would love to steal your ideas. All right, so now that burgers are cooked, we about to dig into these things. Look at those right there. Mm-hmm, yeah, boy. Some damn good cooking right there. So uh, we're rushing out to go take a look at another house in a different location, a location that we would actually really prefer to buy a house. So this one is Barney Purple, but paint is easily fixable. So <laughs> we're gonna go give it a look. <laughs> Yeah, Barney Purple. That would be the first thing to go. Don't worry. Oh my gosh. It would, it would be excellent if we were a Baltimore Ravens fan.
All right, y'all. Excellent, excellent news. Today is the day after the day where we rushed out and saw two houses. One which we didn't really like the location on. Second on which, you know, we had a couple of misgivings about on the house, but the location was our number two location on our list of where we preferred to go after getting nothing for our number one preferred location uh where we're currently at right now in our apartment we would love to stay here our kids are already indoctrinated in the schooling system and everything um so that was number one on our list number two is basically going back home where we both grew up which is a great neighborhood for raising children um the house is gonna need some definitely gonna need some work but we got it our offer was accepted so we have finally gotten past this step now we're going towards you know inspections and uh you know all of that like i don't even really know exactly what it fully entails but i know inspections need to be done we need to put the uh partial down payment down to hold the, the property but we can start packing our bags which means there is going to be a little bit of a lull in the videos right now as i'm moving on to bigger and better things but i'm gonna do my best i got a couple of videos still on the ipad that are ready to get going and um, do my best to upload the content but if there is a little bit of lull on the content that is why we did get a house it does have uh, like a shed and a garage which I'm going to have to probably rebuild. But the big part, the big hurdle is done. We look forward to moving in and we can finally say we found our first house. So that's gonna put the wraps on this one. Comment down below. Let me know what your housing experience was like if you guys have gone through the housing shopping experience or if you're about to. Go ahead, ask me any questions you want. I'll do my best to answer whatever I can. But for now, I'm Mr. J and we out.